where I live most of my life, and most of my family's from. Uh, as Jim said, I, I write, but uh, I wanted to uh, say first of all that I'm not a full-time writer. I, uh, I do uh, some construction. I do a lot of things to make a living. Writing is not, I wouldn't call it a, a living monetarily that I, that I make from it, but uh, uh, I work 40 or 50 hours a week so I can come home and ride. And once in a while I make a little money at riding, but that's fine because to me a dollar earned from riding is worth a hundred dollars per framing up a house or hanging sheet rock. And once in a while I get some recognition or someone will say something to me about my riding and, and to me that's worth more than a thousand words about the weather or whatever. So every, every small little bit of recognition you get for riding is just, it's magnified and, and it means so much to you. But uh, I appreciate, oh, and I, I thought earlier, you know, every rider dreams of a day when they can ride full time and that's all they have to do is just sit and ride all day long for 10 hours a day. And I wanted that for a long time. And, and I'm not sure really if, uh, if that's the way to go about it actually. And the more I thought about it, Riding for me is more about living than actually riding, and, and I don't know what I could find to write about if I sat behind a computer screen or a typewriter for 10 hours a day. I just don't know how I could fill the pages. It's the, it's the life that I live that allows me to, uh, to even have things to write about. So uh, I appreciate everybody for, um, for, for coming out and for taking time out to, to, to listen to what I got to say. Uh, as I said, uh, uh, just a small bit of recognition writing is worth more than a thousand words. Um, writing can be a very lonely thing to do, but I don't think lonely is exactly the right word. I know I'm supposed to have exactly the right word because I'm a writer, but lonely is the closest thing I can uh, come to. Lonely has such a negative connotation to it. It's never said in a positive manner. Uh, I believe if you want to write and you want to get good at it, you have to be completely at ease with being alone with yourself. Uh, you can't be too uncomfortable at what you see. Because writing, I think, is it's a mirror, but it's, it's more powerful than a mirror. Because writing shows what's on the inside. And what's on the inside can be shocking and happy and scary and funny and sad. There's a whole world on the inside of us that is just as crazy and dark and wild and lovely as the one on the outside. And a good writer must love that world, love what's on the inside. He must be able to stare at himself for hours, which is a thing that takes some getting used to. Mm -hmm. um, Charles Bukowski said writing is a nice, selfish thing to do. And I think he's right. It may be the most selfish thing you can do, but Selfish, too, has a lot of negative connotations to it. But it's not always such a bad thing to be selfish. There's an old saying that says, you cannot love others until you learn to love yourself. And we've heard that all a thousand times. But I think the reason we've heard it so much is because it's true. And writing is a thing that you do for yourself because you love yourself so much. You give yourself a gift. And like love, uh, the gift of writing shines brightest when it's given away. You find yourself loving what's inside you so much that you want to give it to the whole world. But sometimes the world's not willing to look. It could be that they don't have time, or they don't have the patience, or it could be that they just don't care. 